Today's video is about something that is literally very cool and might even cause me a little bit of pain. Hi, can I just have a frozen Coke, please? Just the one? Just the one. Anything else? That's all, thank you. Coke, Beautiful. Just the frozen Coke. Ah, uh, cash. There we go. Beautiful, thanks very much. Great, thank you very much for that. Okay, so I've got my, uh, my frozen Coke here. Oh, it's not very full, but... I'm gonna drink this very quickly and see what happens. Here we go. Whoa. Uh oh, it looks as though by drinking this frozen drink too quickly, I've given myself brain freeze, but what is brain freeze? What causes it? Is it dangerous? And how do you treat it? All of those answers are coming in this video. What is brain freeze? Well, brain freeze is sometimes also called the ice cream headache, the cold stimulus headache, or sphenopalatine ganglion neuralgia. And it refers to the sensation of pain in the head due to the rapid consumption of something that is cold. You might get it especially on a hot day and you're eager to cool yourself down with a very cold drink or some ice cream. You eat it too quickly and you get brain freeze. It's when the cold food or drink touches the roof of your mouth or the palate of your mouth and causes it to cool down. This then causes a headache. You might feel it behind your eyes, in your forehead, maybe even the back of your head, and it's generally very unpleasant. But why does this occur? Why does our body, in response to eating or drinking something cold, go into this headache state? What's making that happen? Well, there are a couple of reasons. The first is that when the cold food or drink touches the roof of your mouth, it causes the roof of your mouth to cool down. And as a result of that, the blood vessels in your mouth constrict. This is a process called vasoconstriction. The blood vessels are becoming narrower because they're cold. The body knows that there's a problem and it wants to warm it up. And we are pretty good at regulating our temperature. We can increase blood flow to certain areas when they are cold to try and warm them up. And our body undergoes a process called vasodilation in which the blood vessels dilate or become bigger, allowing more blood to travel through. So at first they constrict and then they dilate, becoming bigger, allowing more blood. And while this is happening, that's a lot of information. Something is wrong and nerves in that area are going bananas. It's sensing less blood, more blood, hot, cold, changing temperatures. There's a lot going on and this is a very sensitive area of the body. We have got a lot of nerves in this area. Look at all of the sensors that are located in this area. We, you know, our eyes, our ears, our nose, our tongue, we can still feel things. There's a lot going on in this area, which is why we have such a strong response. So as the roof of the mouth cools, as it warms up again, as we flush a lot more blood into it, your nerves are detecting something's wrong and a pain response is therefore going to happen. There's also some things to do with the pressure in the anterior cerebral artery, which is one of the main blood vessels that gets blood to the brain and it's causing lots of things to be triggered. There are pain receptors in the membrane of our brain in the meninges which are detecting all of these different things which even though the stimulus is happening in our mouth causes our foreheads, behind our eyes, our heads to experience this pain. So because this is such a sensitive area it's going to have a much more sensitive response. But is it dangerous? This is a very unpleasant thing. Is it a problem? Well, no, not really. As far as we can tell, the effects are purely temporary. There's no long-term problems here. Our body is pretty good with dealing with this problem. The pain response is actually partly to help us to slow down and to not continue to cool down the palate of our mouth. After it's cooled down, the headache goes away, you can continue. And in fact, some scientists have been using brain freeze to help us study migraines and how to prevent and treat them. A lot of the same mechanisms 
that are present in migraines can be seen in a brain freeze. So being able to trigger it and monitor what's happening and how to prevent that is something which scientists are currently looking into. But say you've got a brain freeze, it's very unpleasant. How do you solve the problem as fast as possible? Well, there are a couple of very easy things that you can do. The first is to prevent it. Slow down. Don't eat your ice cream or drink your frozen Cokes too quickly. That way you won't cool your palate too quickly and your body will not need to have this response. But say you do, say like me, you are over enthusiastic with your frozen drink and you've given yourself brain freeze. How do you solve this problem as soon as possible? The symptoms only last a couple of minutes, but can we make them go away even faster? Well, yes we can. As soon as we've warmed the palate of our mouth, essentially the symptoms stop. How can we warm that up? Well, you can have a warm drink of water. You can also press your tongue to the roof of your mouth or your thumb to help warm up the palate. Or if you don't have any of those available, you can try blocking your nose with your hand and breathing out of your mouth. The warm air from your lungs therefore will help to heat up the palate. Just warming up the inside of your mouth will solve the problem almost instantly. I think it's interesting that our bodies respond in such a strange way when we eat something cold too quickly. And I think there's a lesson for us to learn there. So take time to slow down and appreciate things a little more slowly. You don't have to rush them. Thank you very much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and you learned something. If you haven't already subscribed to That's Pretty Cool, please consider doing so. Take care, stay curious, and I will see you next time. Sphenopalatine neuralgia. <laughs> ganglia neuralgia. Phenopalatine ganglion. <laughs> oh, <laughs> it hurts. <laughs>